What is going on everybody? This is Major League Pops. That's Pops with a Z. Today I come to you with another set review. This one was just released a couple weeks ago, so depending on when you watch this video, you know, you might be a couple days behind, but that's okay. At least you're here watching the video, and if you are new to the channel, thank you for watching the video. Please, if you don't mind, hitting that thumbs up, hitting the subscribe button, hit the notifications so you can catch, so that you can get notified when I'm on a Funko Pop hunt, I do a Funko Pop review, I do a set review, or I do one of my classic Major League Pops Most Wanted Funko Pop Edition. Without further ado guys, let's get into the review because this is going to be a pretty nice set. This one was a pretty popular set in my opinion. Uh, the movie overall, uh, I don't know about the movie. I didn't watch it. I will probably see it when it comes out on DVD because if you guys have been watching my channel for a little bit of time, you guys know I'm more of a DVD kind of guy. So plus if it's disappointing, I can't be too mad because I spent like 15 bucks for the DVD compared to taking the whole family out and spending 40. So without further ado guys, let's check out the pops because that's what you want to see. Let's go! All right, so you guys are probably wondering, what pops are we going to take a look at? Without further ado guys, we are starting with, bam, we got Aladdin of Agrabah and his little sidekick Abu from the movie Aladdin. This thing is really nice. We picked these guys up at Hot Topic. And I really like the fact that they have Abu. I'm not going to probably take this one out. But it looks like they're separated which is actually really nice. This is number 538. Check out the side. Now in this particular set they do have a total of five but there is one hot topic exclusive so keep that in mind so there is but at least in the main set you have aladdin of agrabah with abu you got genie you got aladdin prince ali you got princess jasmine and you got jafar but this aladdin looks really good i like how they you know designed him or they really made him look like you know poor aladdin which is you know really good before he met Genie and changed everything, changed his life around. So I really like this one. I think Abu is really cute looking. He's really cool. Uh, I would have, the only small little nitpick, the only thing I would have did differently if I could change anything is that I would have had Abu holding an apple or an apple somewhere, maybe on his head or something. And I would have had Aladdin like holding an apple or something of that nature because when they were in the market and everything and there was that big chasing over the apple and everything so that would have been just a nice little thing with the apple so we got aladdin with abu so that one is a really nice one and as you guys know i am kind of a fan of monkeys monkey is one of my favorite little animals and my nickname as a kid was monkey so i like monkey so abu in here is a really nice little thing and the next one that we are going to take a look at is we got bam we got prince aladdin after he meets genie and he's i'm assuming this is the same get up slash outfit when uh, he's going to meet jasmine for the very first time at her royal kingdom her palace and he's riding on the elephant and everything which was if i remember right was a boo it's been a while since i've seen the movie so they did a really good job they have him standing in a nice pose where like he feels confident he's in charge and he's gonna get the woman so really nice check out the side he's got that nice like i say pose going on by the way if i didn't show you guys the back there you go there's all the figures in the back but don't worry you're gonna see them all here so i really like this one the only thing now this is just me being nitpicky okay uh maybe i nitpick too much but i'm just saying maybe in future funko pops if anybody of importance watches my channel maybe they might want to think of these ideas or maybe use some of these uh, but it would have been kind of nice maybe for him to have like the lamp attached to like his belt buckle or even in his hand that would have been kind of nice just to signify you know that this was right after he found Genie. That would have been just a kind of nice little cool aspect of all because I don't see kind of any lamp. I don't see anything that would indicate you know how he went from poor Aladdin to Prince Ali Aladdin. So overall though very good very nice i like it i will tell you not my favorite not my favorite i prefer the uh poor aladdin uh, a little bit better just because the details 
and everything were really good. Plus, like I said, I like Abu. So there you go. So I give a uh, earlier edition of Aladdin and Abu slightly ahead of Prince Ali. Next one we got is we got Bam Princess Jasmine, of course. This one is a really nice one. I really like how they did her, like, I, I'm not even sure what they call it, but her clothing around her arms, it looks like it's just kind of hanging off. You got her veil. I'm assuming it's called a veil on her head that's just dripping down the back of her hair. Her earrings look really nice, so check that out. Tell me, guys, what you guys think of it. Sorry if there's a little glare. But that is a really nice one. I really like the details on her pants with like that peacock design, that peacock feathering going down her pants. It looks really good. I love the details though on Princess Jasmine. She looks really good. This was a really nice one to pick it up. There is the side view for Princess Jasmine. So this is a really nice design of Princess Jasmine. I like this one a lot. That one's not bad. And like I said, the details on that one are really good, especially with the peacock feathers on the pants. Looks really, really nice. Now, this one I was telling you guys about, there was a couple Hot Topic exclusives. So we have, bam, we got the Hot Topic exclusive Princess Jasmine Desert Moon Edition. And wow, this one just looks really nice. Um, the face is, is basic per se, but they did an awesome job on the dress, on her clothing, on her head veil. It just looks, it looks re really nice. You know, it's elegant, it's not over the top, and it matches the character really nicely so you got princess jasmine desert moon right there so that is a nice one that is a hot topic exclusive so only available of course at hot topic now the next one that you have is you have bam you got jafar the royal visitor this one looks really good because he's got his scepter in his hand with the cobra on the top so check it out you got the cobra scepter looks really good i like that part of the detail he's got that mean face and he's got his like little cap on. I'm, I'm sorry if I don't know the correct name. I'm sorry, just correct me in the comment section. I'm not trying to get it wrong. I just, I, I'm sorry, I just don't remember what it's called. But this one looks really good. I, for me, the best part about Jafar right here is the Cobra Scepter. It looks really nice. All right, guys. And now, save the best for last, of course. And we got, and I'm sure you guys know, we got the Genie. Of course, if you guys are not aware, the genie was played by Will Smith in the new current Aladdin movie. The original actor, Robin Williams, sadly passed away. So it would have actually been really nice if Robin Williams could have portrayed genie. But this genie was portrayed by Will Smith. And they kind of gave him that Will Smith kind of vibe or that look on his face. You got his like goatee coming all the way around. And you got his nice little beard kind of hanging out. It's tied. You got your nice little genie earrings. He's in his little wish type wish grant pose it looks really nice now here here we go guys you know it's funny I, I don't know maybe i'm blind i just don't see it you guys let me know do you see anything there is no lamp and there's no carpet how is that even possible not in one of these figures do you have the lamp who in my opinion was a very important part of the whole movie or maybe not an important part that's a far stretch but lamp was in the movie okay so was carpet so i, I really got to see this movie but why do they not at least have genie on a carpet or something or aladdin on the carpet unless they're gonna make like a dual pack of aladdin and jasmine flying on the carpet and lamp is gonna be on it i mean i'm just saying details people details so overall guys i hope you guys liked my disney aladdin funko pop review um the ones that i thought were really good is i like the hot topic exclusive jasmine and the moon princess outfit and then of course i like aladdin uh, with Abu went before he met Genie and then Jafar is really nice. Genie himself is an okay one. It's not too bad. I think they really lacked on the details. Missing the carpet, missing the lamp. Um, he does kind of look like he has that Will Smith facial uh, figure thing going on. So facial recognition, I guess, probably a better word. But here's a side view if I didn't show you guys already. So let me know, guys, what you guys think overall of the Disney Aladdin Funko Pops. Like I said, I think they're nice. Uh, I wouldn't probably necessarily go and get the whole set unless you like the Disney Funko Pops or you're a big fan of Aladdin. And let me know if there are any, um, like, carpet type one's going to be coming out is there going to be a dual pack of aladdin and jasmine with carpet and the lamp because uh i think uh funko kind of missed out on those two 
Uh, even if they just made a Funko carpet and a Funko pop lamp, that'd actually be pretty cool. Like a 10 inch Funko of carpet and lamp, that'd actually be pretty awesome. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I hope you guys like my review on the Disney Aladdin Pops. If you guys did, please leave a thumbs up. It helps videos out a bunch. And if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit your notifications. And of course, if you want to follow me on social media, you can always do that at Major League Hats with the Z and I'll provide the link down at the bottom. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. This is Major League Pops out. Bye, everybody. See ya.